better tradesperson. Good afternoon. My name is Rob Densaw. I'm the sprinkler instructor at the UA Pipe Industry College. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to test the double check valve. Um, before we start testing any of the assemblies, we have to make sure that the owner of the building is going to allow that. So we're going to get permission to shut down the system. Once that's verified, we can go to the valve that we're going to test, verify that it is the correct valve that we want to test. So our double check valve is a Watts 007 M3 QTDC, serial number 360744, and it's three quarters, so that's the correct valve. So on our first test, we're going to be testing to see if number one check valve is holding tight at a minimum one PSI in the direction of flow. So first of all, before we start any tests, we're going to examine the assembly Make sure we got no visible leakage, no rust, no corrosion to make sure the valve or the assembly is in good shape. Once we have done that, we can flush our test cocks. First, we start with flushing test cock number one. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. Just get the debris out of there. Then close the test cock. Open test cock two. Close test cock two. Open test cock three. Close test cock three and open test cock four, and close test cock four. Once we've done that, we can hook up our sight tube to test cock number three. And we're gonna use a compensating valve on test cock number two, just in case our shutoff valve number one is leaking. So in that case, if it does leak, we can open the, open the compensating valve so the water stops dripping out of the sight tube so we can get an accurate reading on the check valve number one. Once we've done that, we can hook our hose up to our high side control valve. Make sure everything's closed. We're going to connect our high side control valve to our bleeder valve or compensating valve, whichever you want to call it. We're going to fill our sight tube by opening test cock number three, just till we get a nice dome on the top. Close test cock three, open test cock number two. We're going to bleed the air out of the high side bleed valve just to get all the air out of the dif differential gauge. Once that's done, we're happy with that. We're going to place our gauge at the proper elevation of the sight tube. We're going to close shutoff valve number two first. Then we're going to close shutoff valve number one. We're going to open test cock three. Once the sight tube stops dripping, we're going to wait two minutes in the field, 10 seconds for this video, to make sure that our pressure differential is holding on check valve number one. So our pressure differential is sitting at 2 PSI. We're going to do a count from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Check valve number one is holding tight at two PSI. I'm going to close my test cocks. Document my pressure of two PSI. Check the box. Check valve number one is holding tight at two PSI. Now we're going to move on to test number two. So all we're going to do here is we're going to move the equipment over to test cock four and test cock three. So I'm going to move my sight tube over to test cock four. And I'm going to move my bleeder nipple and high side hose over to test cock number three. This time we're going to test our check valve number two for being tight for a minimum one PSI in the direction of flow. 
I'm going to open shutoff valve number one only. I'm going to fill our sight tube again. So we've got that nice little dome on the top. Close test cock four. Open test cock three. Again, because we moved the hose, do we have to bleed the air out of that hose again? Once that is done, we're going to hold the gauge at the proper elevation of the sight tube. We are going to close shut off one and open test cock four. Wait for the test or the sight tube to stop dripping. Once it's stopped dripping, we're going to do our two minutes or 10 seconds for this video. We're holding at 1.2 PSI. I'm going to do my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ch check valve number two is holding tight at 1.2 PSI. Check the box tight. Record 1.2 PSI for check valve number two. Close our test cocks four and three, remove our sight tube, remove our gauge and bleeder valve, and our very last test now is going to be our line pressure. We hook up our gauge to test cock number one, and we're just going to record our line pressure. Open test cock number one. We have a line pressure of 52 PSI. I will record that. 52 PSI. I'm going to close test cock number one. I'm going to record that as a pass. I'm now going to disconnect my gauge. And before you turn the water back on, it's always a good idea to notify the building owner or representative and let them know you're turning the water back on just in case somebody's, somebody's opened something downstream. So now we've verified that we're okay to turn the water back on. I'm going to open shut off valve number one. Normally I'd open number two as well, but just for noise purposes for the pump, I'm going to leave this just with shut off valve one open and I'm just going to inspect for leaks to make sure we've shut all our test cocks properly. Nothing's dripping. Everything's looking really good. Now I'm going to open shut off valve number two, put the valve back in service. Sign my test sheet and the double check valve is tested. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it's useful and we'll see you next time.